Hey guys, I'm Amy Lee. I'm Lindsay Sterling. We're here hanging out to chat about With stuff. You. Yeah, if you want to ask us questions, we're going on tour together starting the summer. Um, should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely going to be fun. I mean, I'm excited about this. I cannot wait. We're like in planning phases right now. Right. Talking about, I don't know, what the stage is going to look like. Yeah. Um, you know, how big the orchestra is going to be. Like all the details are starting to come together right now at this time so i'm excited to watch you play because i saw your christmas show which yes. was awesome um but i know that you are so versatile i've seen you kind of play in all kinds of different ways like on the internet so looking forward to watching what you bring to this full orchestra vibe yes this is brand new for me and i'm really excited that like this has all come to be because i got to see you play over at the greek yeah. um Gosh, November. less than a year ago, like yeah. this last fall. And I was just like blown away to see your music portrayed through like this. It's always been kind of that, you know, like yeah. I feel like it's it's a very natural like next step, this whole synthesis stuff that you're doing with the live Thank orchestra. You. And uh, but it was so cool to experience live. And anyways, I'm excited. And we've never gotten to have that, the well, the strings, like the orchestra, that part of it be a part of the live experience. So mm -hmm. it's cool to make it so much about that. Yeah. So we're supposed to have phones and be taking questions. I have questions in front of me. I have, but a, I have a phone in front of me too. Should we be holding a phone? I'm just talking to no one. No one's off camera. This is totally my house. <laughs> yeah, this does feel very much like I wish my house was this cool. Oh, thank you. We each get our own. Oh, hey, you guys are already <laughs> floating hearts across the screen. It's so distracting. Sending us questions. I'm just looking at the floating bubbles of, yeah. of awesome. Oh, oh dear, I'm like staring at my hair. How do I look? Oh my gosh, I can see it. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and coming to hang out with us today. Um, and please send in your questions through yes. the chat because we will be answering them. Um, we could start with one here. Let's do it. These were previously sent in <laughs> when by you guys. did you first meet? When did we first meet? We first met, as you said, obviously, at that show. I yes. met you at that Greek show. Because yes. we did our collaboration, okay, for mm -hmm. Hilo, the song that we did together, which is super cool. Um, On her album. But Amazing. we were in separate places. I was recording actually in Fort Worth, Texas, and you were in LA and you did your part so beautifully. We were just kind of communicating like, through emails. Yeah, postal service. So real in-person meet. Actually, it was a pigeon that brought Amy's reply to me on yeah. if she liked <laughs> it or not. It arrived by pigeon mail. Um, for the kids at home, that was once a thing. This is a good question. OMG, this is so amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is there more? Um, let's see. I, so one of the questions someone previously asked was about the music video. Oh, you yeah. You want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. If there was going to... It's coming. Someone was asking for High Low, the song we did together. Yes. We just did a very cool music video. Um, we filmed the bulk of it in London um, for our show. Like we filmed like a bunch of live stuff from our couple of London gigs, which is really cool. And then also Lindsay makes an appearance, which is also super cool. You look absolutely beautiful in the video. Thank you. Um, and again, filmed in separate places. Yeah, we, I know. This is a common theme. But it so. seemed like that, that's starting to feel like this cool thing. It's like, you do your thing, I'll do mine. We'll put it together and we'll magic come together. Land. Exactly. Okay. Um, what do you see? Um, future tours. Well, the, we are touring. When does our tour start? Our tour starts in the beginning of July. Okay. Say, so stay tuned. It goes all the way through the beginning of September. So it's going to be quite a a lengthy tour, and we'll be coming all across the states. You can go to either one of our websites to get tickets. Um. Um. Neil Gavin Bates asks, "What are you most excited about for this tour?" <clears throat> most excited about. I will, I will go first on that. Okay. I am most excited, actually, to get, like, I can't even quite express what this means to me to share the stage with Amy because, I mean, if I had known, like, when I was a teenager listening to Bring Me to Life and My Immortal, those songs really shaped me and kind of made me be like, I want to create this feeling for someone else. I want to share, I want to write music. I, I think this is something I want to be a bigger part of my life than I ever anticipated it being. And I think it was those songs that helped me get there. Wow. And so it's like really this amazing full circle moment to the thought that I get to share the stage with one of my idols. It's incredible. Is incredible. And just like the pure thought of like for anyone out there, like if you dream it and if you put it into the universe and if you work your tail off, 
it can happen. Totally. And me sitting right here with you right now and getting to share Ridiculous. the stage with you this summer is going to be insane. So that's what I'm most you excited so about. You are so talented. That's a really, really cool thing from the other side. And I'm sure it's happened to you by now with other people when you inadvertently like inspire somebody and then you see what they did and it's awesome. Like mm -hmm. it's just a really beautiful thing just to to inspire someone. Like Absolutely. to make something else outside yourself. It's really rad. Huge compliment. Well thank you. Thank you. Um are we going to Detroit? I don't know that. I answer. don't know. <laughs> don't Hold on. ask us. There's a set. Dates. There's we a tour. Don't know. There's a tour list down here. I keep seeing a lot of questions about specific tours. But <laughs> if you are wondering if you're coming to our city or if we're coming to your city, you can go to our websites and check it out. Um, Jen Cantrell, walk down the aisle to my immortal. That's pretty rad. Oh, that is awesome. I have a question for you. <laughs> do you have um, pre-show rituals that you Ooh. do? Well, I always warm up my voice. Do you warm up playing? I do. Is it the same? Yeah, I have to. Get, my fingers get like stiff. I got to get the blood yeah. like flowing through them, and yeah. just the vibrato's got. So very similarly, yeah. I've yeah, I warm up. up like thirty minutes, twenty minutes before, just for a few. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. We always. This is so dumb. It's become a thing though. We always all fist bump. Everybody has to get their fist bumped by everybody else Wait, in the band. We do that too. You do? I've never seen anybody else do that. It's become so dorky because there's yeah. so many people on tour. And you're like reaching across to like make <laughs> Wait, sure you no. get everybody. Because Wait. that one night when you don't get that one person, you're going to mess up. You feel because like you're it's... going to be thinking about it. It's like, oh, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. That's stupid. That doesn't really mean anything. But then you actually mess up. No, I remember there was one <laughs> show where we were like, maybe let's switch up our pre-show like thing. Right. And I remember the show went terribly. Disaster. And we had done it since our first show together. That's really funny. And so now we're like, we, yeah, that's hilarious. So what's going to happen now? We should There's going to be like 15 giant people. One. <laughs> yeah, both tours combined. That's funny. Um, oh, dang, I lost it. Someone was asking, I'm sorry, I can't find your question now so, to say your name. But someone was asking what the show, oh, Arturo is asking what the show format will be. And because it's a co-headline, we're going to... You don't know who's going to be first. That's right. We're going to switch it up. Totally. One night, Amy will go first. The next night, I'll go first. And I think it'll keep us on our toes a That'll little cool. bit as well. Yeah. And do you want to talk a little bit about the orchestra? And Because sure. she's done this with the orchestra before. It's new for me still, but I'm, I've just gotten settled to where I feel comfortable yeah. playing with an orchestra. Which uh -huh. is so cool. That's I so feel cool. like with what you can do, surely you've played in an orchestra setting before, like growing up. Yes, I've played a lot in an orchestra setting as like, you know, just being raised, you know, doing classical music. Right. That was kind of my, my training grounds was right. playing in orchestra. But like, I never really was like the front woman of an orchestra. You right. know, I was like, well, I was in the mix of it, which is an entirely different experience mm -hmm. getting to like be one body with a group of, yeah. you know, like cool. no one's really shining. It's all right. a big group experience. But um, I really have very rarely, a couple times, but very rarely been like the soloist. Right. Way more pressure. Way more pressure. <laughs> it's really comforting to know that you're part of a sea of violins. And it's like, if someone messes up, we're all just kind of in this together. At least there's a lot going on. It's a wall of sound. And part of what makes it cool is the fact that there's little tiny discrepancies. That's right. Yeah. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier about this thing. What The scary part of this tour, and it's also happening, this whole synthesis thing that I've been doing for past few months is that it's a different group every night so you actually only get to practice like a few songs as a whole group and other than that everything that happens on stage that night is like the first time with that group they've practiced it during the day without you you had like a couple songs together for sound check but that's it everything else is totally just like for real live in the moment i was terrified of that at first but then i started realizing how cool it was because it makes it different every night just a right. little bit just enough to where you're never really positive of what's going to happen and sometimes the group is more enthusiastic and sometimes it's more like somber right and i don't know it's just cool it just makes it unique like a real right. live thing totally well because one thing when you know you're on tour it kind of becomes you know a little bit it's just it's a routine you do the yes. same show every night totally. you get like you go from at the beginning of the tour being like ah is it gonna work to like very comfortable absolutely in the show and i think this is gonna be really cool adding this extra layer of you gotta be on your toes yeah, it'll all the take time. you longer before you get bored yeah so we can book a really really long one all right let's just go <laughs> let's take this okay um, anything else good here 
Let's see, I'm look. I'm like having this battle of like, do I look at you while you talk? I know, I know. I, I feel know. rude like, if I'm, I'm like, ready. I'm listening. It's way I'm too listening. stressful to like be the host. I know. This is why we don't do this. This is not. This is, we're new in at my this job. job. Yes, <laughs> this is a resume booster. I feel like hosted uh, Facebook Live. Um, what's... I'm sorry, we're not coming mm. to Utah. Someone was asking about oh, that. Okay. Um, somebody said, uh, "Wow, I can't pronounce your name." Oh. Kayo Philippe, Lindsay. What's your favorite Evanescence song that you would like to play? Ooh. Not necessarily like synthesis or anything. Do you play? Have you ever played a song besides the one that we did together? Yes, of yours. Uh huh. Yes, I covered My Immortal. Okay. Years ago, okay. and I I even did it on one of our tours. I think I knew that. And it's like yeah. just a really simple video, but I like like I said that song meant so much to me, I so I was out. excited to put my own like like homage feelings to you out into it. the world. Oh, yeah, my cool. own feelings and. It's I love a good such a beautiful cover. Like Me when too. you can take something and not just do a straight up version, but like make your own self mm -hmm. a part of the cover. Like, do you have any favorite covers that anyone has ever done? I have I have a couple. I'm gonna start this off. Yeah. One of my favorite covers ever is Tori Amos covering um Smells mm. Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. And it's so different from the original because it's fully stripped down to just like this, you know, Tori, piano, nothing, her. And then the song that we, we've always heard it is like catchy and heavy and rad, but you really listen, it forces you to listen to the lyrics, not only like with her singing it in the beautiful, sad way that she sings it, but also in reflection of being like, you know, after he had died, like, and you're yes. hearing his words in a completely different way, like feeling his pain and it moved me so much. It really inspired me to like want to do covers that way, like in a way that somehow twists it and makes you see it in a new light. Totally. I, I love that. And I, I think it was, was it Brian Adams that did um, Heaven? You know, it's like it was originally this like techno, like, baby, you're all that I want. And then oh. he did it in this like really oh, somber, like, cool. we're in heaven. And it just was like the song had a whole new meaning. Totally. So I love so that. there's tears. Exactly. It yes. goes from being like this like techno jam to like, oh, this is really like thought provoking. Um, a lot of people asking for backstage passes, Lindsay. Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. Someone, no. let's see, where did? Yep. Yeah, sorry, the answer is no. <laughs> you know, it's really not as exciting as everyone seems. It's to, really not. I don't know what everyone thinks happens back yeah. there, but it's like if you come back there, you realize, wow, it's just a white bunch of white rooms. Well, usually when I have and, friends like that, they they learn that really quickly, and next yeah. time they're like, well, just just come over after. Like we'll see you. I at know home. you're like. Like, not yeah, as glorious yeah. as you think and really it's just a bunch of people like snacking on hummus and like warming up totally stretching it's great yeah um dang it i keep losing up oh and natalia asks what will we expect from the show is it still being planned um yes it is still being planned yeah we're just sort of starting to really do that i mean mm -hmm. There's still arrangements being worked on, right? I was just going to say, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I had to lock in a set list right. so early. Usually I have up until like even the through rehearsals. Minute. We're kind of yeah. like, actually, that's not flowing right. Let's switch that out. But I had yeah. to like really put a lot of time into figuring out the set list because all these songs that I've done so many times, they have to be orchestrated and yes. turned into these orchestral electronic fusions. And so. Which is really cool, but you got to lock in. You got to, like, yeah. Know. You got to marry it. You got to marry your set list. We're locking in now. I've so, had more time. So mine's kind of there. We're going to yeah. maybe change like a couple tiny things. But... Cool. Oh, one cool thing that um, is going to happen is we're probably going to be guesting on each other's set. It seems like it'd be a missed opportunity if we didn't. I think we have to. So we have to. We're going to definitely kind of come out and maybe support each other. Each. I'll do one of yours. You do one of mine. Yeah, stay tuned. We're not going to give away much, but that's a little tidbit for you. Uh -oh. um, someone said, stay strong. Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> I will. Yes, Dominica, I remember the red roses in Poland. Ooh, Ooh that's fun. Um, that's uh, cute. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. And now you have us just like, Scanning through our phones instead of looking Don't at worry. faces. We're like, not real just, life. This I was just really about is. to if say. If we were really hanging out together, this would be our. <laughs> I was just about to say, don't worry. We're not just scrolling on Facebook. We're working. And then I'm like, wait. But we are scrolling I'm scrolling on, scrolling on Facebook, Facebook, but I am working. <laughs> I'm here. I'm with you. Should I go, um, I'll go to here. I'll take another ooh, one here. Okay. What, what Actually, I like have? this one. Um, this is from uh, Chanis. 
If you had to do a Disney cover, what would you do? I know what you would do because I saw you do it. You did the Beauty and the Beast I did. thing. It's really it did. cute. It's so fun. We actually filmed that on tour. It was yeah. like a day of, of a day of the life of Belle if she was on tour. But it was fun. It made total sense. I totally got it. <laughs> yeah, anyone like, who's around, toured, like setting up the stage, like, going to catering, uh -huh. like <laughs> <laughs> very cute. Um, Disney. Uh, mm, ooh, that's hard. Yeah, there's so many good uh, Disney songs. Like if I was to do another one. I love Colors of the Wind by Pocahontas. Cool. Ooh, that song just gives you know me the chills. You know what I really love is When You Wish Upon a Star. Oh, I know that's like classic, no, maybe that's cliche, beautiful. but the notes of the melody are actually really weird. Like, so beautiful. All over. It's like all over. I love so, it. So, you know, what's funny I mean, about that is on Dancing with the Stars, they had a Disney week, and that's the song that Mark and I chose. Oh, cute. Because we loved the melody so that's much. Sweet, yeah. And so weird old Unique. 40s melody. So that will Go always Pinocchio. be a special one to me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they're like, you gonna dress up like Pinocchio? No. Like, no. Yeah, that's not I happening. will just be a generic pretty dress. <laughs> a Lindsay princess. Okay. Will you marry me? Nice. Bad. Um, I don't know who you're talking to. Amy's already <laughs> married. Um, and I'll give you a solid maybe. Nice. Yeah, there's still a <laughs> job. Um, um, okay. Okay, here's All right, one. we know For it. me. Uh, for me, Evanescence released our album last year called Synthesis. Yes, we did. It's me. Is there a favorite song off the new album that you love performing? Um, yes. I really like imperfection a lot um that's that was like the first like the single like the new song off of it um partially because it's new you can't help but like the new stuff but it's hard um i sort of have this habit of singing really long notes which also happens in the song like long slow like drawn out but i challenged myself on that and in writing the verse like did a bunch of fast singing <laughs> and it's a whole lot more words oh that's so the it's one that's like it's almost like you're rapping yeah it's exactly. cool it's hard it's, when i saw you do it better now live, but... i was like really impressed i was like yeah. i didn't know that you had that side right totally it's cool thank you i enjoy doing it because it's challenging usually like the harder stuff is the most fun stuff for me especially when it's different unless my voice is hurting then i'm just like Try not to die. Yeah. You, know, you remember those nights when, like, you're sick or whatever, and you're like, "Please, yes. just, just get there." I know. Like, I'm not, I'm not an energy drink drinker, and right. I don't, I don't do coffee. But on certain occasions, <laughs> I like will Help. take like half a Red Bull, and because I never do that stuff, it is amazing. The like, do you like, find yourself like? over challenging yourself every time you do something new that it has to be like harder than anything you've ever done like to a fault like because I do like sometimes I'm like, this time I'm gonna just write a song that's lower in my register so it's way oh, easier yeah, to do yeah. live and then we get into the studio I'm like no nah, I just need I gotta go there I gotta go Wah! right higher than ever and then I get on stage again and I'm like I did it again. Yes, I've definitely Not written good. passages that I was like, no, no, I can, like, this is great. This I, is challenging. I got yeah. this. And then you get to the tour and you're just like, oh, why did I do this Why to did myself? I do this it's to myself? My myself. Like, yeah. I, I chose this. <laughs> I chose you. Challenge is good. Um, let's see. Anise, I think. Anise. I'm not quite sure I say it. Um, asks if uh, we design our outfits. Sometimes I do. Do you? I do. That's I awesome. love costume design like That's ever cool. since i was a kid i've been super into like i used me to too. sew a lot me too really yeah. well i love that so back in the you know when we were waiting to come on amy you were telling me about like the artwork in your house yeah i, I thought that was so cool yeah i like to paint she likes to paint i like to make stuff and she likes to make things like not only just paint but like make cool pieces and like yeah. you're i don't know i thought that was really cool well making clothes i guess from being like like junior high, I guess is kind of when that started happening. Did you have a sewing machine and all that? Like I was all about it. Like actually, mm -hmm. when I was in third grade, I wanted to be a kangaroo for Halloween. Okay. And That's my mom tough. was like, "I can't make you a Halloween. <laughs> I can't make you a kangaroo this it's year, Lindsay." Hard. And so yeah. I was like, well, "Can I?" And she took me to the fabric store. Amazing. And I picked. I made a pattern, and I wish I had the picture because it's hilarious. It's obvious that I made it myself, yeah. but at the same time, it's like. Kind of good. That's kind of impressive for like <laughs> a third awesome. grader. Yeah, Halloween costumes are always, that's what really started it for me. Me too. And like the medieval 
renaissance like festival of the sixth grade where everyone's like kings and queens yeah and there's this moment and i was like i'm gonna make the coolest yes. like duchess ever and it and i bet you out were a bed sheet and somebody stepped on the train and sort of ripped apart in front of everyone but it was really cool before that the picture was worth it yeah and i will say I mean, I love designing. I always love designing costumes. And I remember there was one tour I was on where I saw a picture of you on the wall. You know, like oh. the venues backstage. Mm -hmm. One thing that is cool back, about backstage is there's always of people pictures play. of other people that have played on that same stage. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, whoa, that like looking cool. around at the other like legends that you may have loved that played on that same stage. So I do love that about the backstage. Um, but I remember there was a picture of you and it was almost uncanny how I was like, that's weirdly similar to like, what I want, we both right had now. these like striped right. leggings and like kind of a, a crazy skirt with a corset. Right. Like different outfits, but like very similar. That's the thing. I was like, Whoa. with the costume design whole thing about like stage outfits, you can't just go to the store and buy a rad stage outfit. You kind of have right. to design something. Like that's been my experience. Like I can't find anything yeah. that totally sums up like this part of my identity that I need to express that's going to fit the whole show. Like I'm just going to draw this and figure it out. And that, I love that. I like still have, I'm sure you two do yeah. too, all these little sketches of totally. stuff that you'll send to a seamstress or right. like, you know, maybe a stylist. You're like, this is, this is it. Help make Help this happen. Help me make it because, you know, I'm either too busy or like, I know a, seams, a professional seamstress could make it way they better than I did. They need to make it so you can run around in it. I mean, like, so it's not going to fall it, apart. It would fall apart. It would maybe last two shows. Yeah. And also the thought, one thing, sorry, we're probably running out of time. One thing I thought was interesting that I don't feel like I get to talk about this with very many people yeah. was like the thought we have to put into, because we're instrumentalists and, you know, we were talking about how we can't wear rings when yeah. we perform because like it'll click on the keys, yeah, never, like it'll impede my movement happening. of my fingers and like even lip gloss, like yes. can't perform with lip gloss because your hair gets stuck in it and totally. then you're like, dang it, like for like three minutes. I feel like spitting my hair out of my mouth is at least like 7% of what I do on stage. Every really? Night. Totally. Yeah. Just get my hair. Oh yeah, because you let yours fly. <laughs> yeah. Yours yeah, is yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. head banging and stuff. That's like, my one prop. Back. I just have this. This is what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Thank you guys for taking the time to chat with us. We hope to see you on our upcoming tour. I'm very excited. Yes. About Lindsay. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll see you soon. I don't know how to log off. Somebody push a button. <laughs>